Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. How are y'all doing today? My name is Blue Phoenix. If you're new here, I make fun planty uh, videos for my plant knowledge. And then I also share my plant vlog of my uh, small business. Um, sometimes I share what I'm packing or like uh, just going on through the day of like my daily routines. And then I also share a little bit of my daily life as well on there. Um, if that's something that interests you, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I'll love that uh, for us and uh, help us grow. Um, and as always, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything. Um, okay, so in today's video, I am making a um, fun houseplant arrangement with um, different various houseplants um, that you can find at um, any uh, store. I have it in, so I have this is my soil. I'm going to be using this terracotta uh, planter, this big, huge one, and I have some soil over here. Um, and then um, I'll describe all the plants that I'll be using. Um, it's pretty easy. I'm using very, um, I'm using our our soil mixture, which has worm casting. Um, there's also some uh, a little bit of pine bark. There's perlite, a little bit of vermiculite. Um, it's always listed down below um, uh, with, if there's anything of interest that you'd like to know about. My gloves first because after repotting like all day you realize you need gloves. <laughs> um, so I will be um, using uh, this Spathophyllum peace lily. Super cute. I have also an English ivy. Um, you could see here it has this nice uh, variegation on it um, on the outer lining of it I'm also gonna be using a Dracaena marginata um, as you can see here all this really nice uh, striking foliage that it carries I really like the architecture of it the way it just kind of like adds that height and also volume to an arrangement um, and then I always I love using parlor palms um, for arrangements. This uh, palm 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 <laughs> palm par this parlor palm is really good. Uh, it's one of my favorites to use in all arrangements. Um, it just adds that nice little centerpiece or um, volume um, that I like to add for like some background effect. I like to heighten all the other plants. These are great and they don't grow fast and um, and they they keep their nice structure. Um, I like to, to also add other kind of like structural plants as well, but that have um, interesting foliage to it. So it adds like a little like drama to the arrangement. So this, um, I'm using this Maranta Lucranora, uh, also known as a red uh, prayer plant called a red prayer plant for the way um, their leaf folds um, and it's always really nice to walk in and see them all just kind of like fold and then unfold I love doing little time lapses of that so uh, this is the cordyline glauca um, or glauca I'm not really sure how it's pronounced but uh, I'll put it uh, the name in the screen uh, for you uh, to, to see it. So um, I'm gonna be using that and then I'm gonna also dress it with some nice little moss. So I love I love making arrangements. I think they're fun. Um, you can always ask me to make an arrangement for you um, and we can like work things out and I'm super simple, easy. I prefer more like for local pickups to do the arrangements. It works out better that way. Um, and especially because it's, like, it's not easy shipping um, a huge terracotta. So here's my soil. So I'm just gonna put that in the bottom right there. Oh, oh, and the last one I'm gonna use is this really uh, adorable, um, the variegated Hoya Carii. So first I'm gonna put the Spactophyllum Peace Lily in the middle. These are always fun. There we go. 
kind of want to work uh, around it now. So we'll we'll place this English ivy. English ivy is always great to be to use in um, arrangements. Uh, it always adds that nice little texture. It always adds a nice little striking foliage, and it's that these are really nice and uh, these are really uh, great to use because they also trail and add height. So what I'm doing is kind of like layering it down so that way it gives it that um, trailing effect to it, and I'm keeping it leveled with. Uh, the spathophyllum peace lily so that way um, it kind of grows around it like that a little bit more soil to that okay and then you just kind of like want to now like have fun with it. So I think next would be the uh, the Maranta. I just watered these two, so <laughs> the root ball is kind of like coming undone a little bit, which is which is okay, it's fine. It's not gonna like cause too much shock to it because it's already it was already intact and I'm not really messing with the root ball. Next, um, as you see here, I think that looks really nice. Adding more soil. Next, we want to like fill the back. So I say this one. Like this is what I mean about volume, adding that nice like volume to your um, arrangement really kind of uh, adds like uh, this like organic flow to your arrangement like you're going from from the high to uh, lows or from low to high you know what I mean and then the back you just kind of like want to like let it all highlight itself and so using these two neutral uh, tone plants um, are great but they have some really interesting architectural structure to them so it's really good to add in the back piece and you always want to kind of think about um, the way they grow as well so I'm placing the cordyline glauca in the back I might be butchering that I am so sorry if I am um,
now I'm just going to add uh, this carry eye right in the front. So here we are everyone, this is my arrangement, I have my Justina uh, Marginata, my Parlor Palm, my Cordeline Glauca, my English Ivy, uh, uh, my Hoya Carrier right over here, and then my Maranta Lucanora right there, um, and it just looks really beautiful, it just looks amazing. It looks fabulous I'm just so in love with this right now like it looks super it looks super good like I made this and that was fast so um, yeah this is just a really fun um, easy video I hope you really enjoyed just the process that I go through uh, with making arrangements um, if you love if you like this kind of content, let me know. I'll make more videos like this. I am trying to add more designs for on-site purchase for local pickup purchases for a small home-based business. And I'm really thankful for you all to uh, support us and help us grow. Uh, follow us on Instagram, bluelotus.gardens. Um, follow and all the links are provided down below. Y'all are amazing. Have a wonderful day. Peace everyone. Bye. Look how just big this is. Oh my god. <laughs> Love it. Bye everyone.